Two here. Welcome back to the railway. Now, as I was looking through my boxes of stuff, I found this. This is a System 90 combo, an ancient Hornby machine. And I thought we'd have a look. There's already wire sticking out. That doesn't look too good. Hmm, move this back a bit. Hmm. So it apparently comes with one controller, but it actually comes with two. That's just my version. There's stuff everywhere. Here we are. This looks to be the actual system. I'll take a look at it in a minute, once I've sorted this mess out. But there's all sorts of stuff in here, so... Today I will have a look at what is actually in here and try and figure out if it works and plug it into my model railway. First up is the power pack. The huge, big, beefy thing with the wire attached. So, <laughs> I think this is the transformer. I don't know why it's called a power pack, it's a transformer. It's got a, it looks like it's a huge transformer under there. I'm not going to take it apart, don't worry. So the A was obviously for one track, B for another, and then C for any accessories you might have. Decent. And uh, the wire looks to be in okay condition, the plug isn't, so the outer casing has come off, not the inner casing of the wires thankfully, but yeah, so we're going to have to see if that works. Made in England. Interesting. Now they look like they're VGA sockets, not entirely sure why, but they're obviously for the controllers. And it says Hornby, System 19R982 power pack for indoor use only. Mains input, 220 to 240 volts, 50 hertz. 13.5 volts to the track. Wow. Max total rating, 16 volts. Wow. Right then, let's have a look. What's next? We'll look at some of the wires next. So this is one set of wires. It has been neatly bound up. Some of them worked well and some of them really didn't. So let's look at this one. This is just a wire. Not really much very special. But this on the power pack would go in to that bit and be screwed on. And then this would obviously go into the track somehow. Power clip. We still see these today. So if we grab one of our wires, plug the other one in as well. Very simple, but effective. And you could plug these into curves or straights, which is a very good thing. I'm going to put some of this stuff back in a minute. Um, the controller then. One of these was red, by the way. I'm not entirely sure why. Seems different apart from the colour. No, anyway, this, what are they calling this? They're calling this the regulator. It says you need a regulator to power it. So that's your basic speed control. Under all the wire you can see that there is forwards and backwards. And an off in the middle, I get that. Quite a bit of speed that this thing could give out then. And it can obviously connect on the power pack. I think that is all of it. It looks a lot less now that I've got it out of its uh, tiny box. So apparently this system did only come with one of these. But obviously in this one there's another one. So, yeah. But does it work? I think we're going to have to find out. So, with testing this, the first thing we need to do is take our plug, 
feels like a how-to video. It's not, trust me. But you take this and put it in. Uh, wires in the way. I'm going to go and turn that on. We have power, hopefully. And now if I move over somewhere over here, I'm going to plug it into this piece of track. Power clip. Which bits have the little slots? This is the B wire. I'm going to plug that in to the control unit here. Let's take control from number A, from part A. So I think it might be this one, probably the other one actually. I'm not sure if this is polarity sensitive, so we'll find that out. I've never been sure what polarity sensitive means. I think it shorts out if the polarity's wrong. It shouldn't be if it's a controller. So that is B plugged into that side. Hmm. Let's get the other wire. I hope this works. Right, both wires are connected. I've got my controller. Seems weird, it feels like I've just wired up the controller, I've just wired up the transformer. I want it to go into this side. It's all in. So if I get a loco on the track, this controller should work. Hopefully. What loco should I use? Quite a nice locomotive, not too valuable. It's just the standard Hornby 04. Here's the controller. Doesn't sound very. Doesn't sound very promising. Uh, hmm. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Maybe those wires are busted or something. Right. Let me change the wires around. Maybe that's going to help. Try the other controller then. Other controller. Let's try connecting this one up. Just move my control off the track. It can't be a short circuit. Turning it up. There is just no power. Okay, let me try turning 
the wires around on the controller transformer thing. I doubt it's going to do anything. But we can, we can but try. short circuit turning up no hmm maybe on the power unit we've connected this to the wrong one to plug the other controller into the side. taken all the wires off it when it came out of the box. Might have worked then. Wires everywhere. Probably used my standard Hornby R965 controller. I think that's what it's called. Works for once. It was by I don't know, Hornby or Gage Master Controller. Um, so, got the controller that we need to get the right one that is connected up to that side. Hmm. Try another train. This one does have kind of black wheels. So let me just try a different train. Because this might work. A Lima pannier tank. That might work. Very reliable models by Lima. But I'm not here to do a review, so. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to suggest. It's all plugged in. Maybe one of them's not making the connection. Right. I'm going to take the two wires off and try a different two wires. I'm going to put as many wires as I can out of the way. Because having wires everywhere is annoying me. Right. 
these are ridiculously tangled, the ones that I want to use. So let me just untangle these. Now these ones, because I thought those connectors that were connecting up didn't do a very good job, so I got wire for these ones. Connecting it to the left hand side here. Just start putting this on. Curl that a bit. That one's on the left hand side. Maybe that's B. And now if we do A, that's the wire. Here we are. Again, as you can see, sort of it's not focusing. Ready for soldered end, ready for soldering. That, that's the subject of another video. Today I'm trying to today I'm trying to get this uh, ancient piece of electric of electrical machine working. It's going in much further than the um, previous ones did. Just try this again. Give me a sec. These connections. To be very tight, otherwise it might not connect. Maybe it's the elderly wires, or who knows? Um, right. Controller. Bottom of this thing is actually quite hot. No. Um, let's try switching these around. This has become one of the longest videos that I've ever made, by the looks of it. Longest single videos. No. Right. Let me try connecting somewhere else. I'm going to try and connect it at the curve. No. It was me pushing it. Um, I, do have, I did have this old wagon on the track. Probably won't make much difference. No? I really don't know what to suggest. It's not working. Let me try another power clip. Let's try the red one, just in case.
very clean. Turn the controller up. It's not locos, these locos work very well. So we know it's not them. Unfortunately, I think the system might be dead. Well, I will keep on trying and if it ever does work, I'll let you know. It is a very old system. Mm -hmm.